Sexy Sims, and we are back with more Nameless at the end of T's route. This is our last choice, guys. Um, Well, of course, obviously in the last one, we made the choice to say, you can destroy me and got the bad ending, the last bad ending. So we are, of course, going to choose the, you're not dirty, which would obviously be the correct answer. Um, Go down the good path. We have one chapter after this, and then, which is weird because it's called performance. Which we, we we kind of did a performance uh in the last bad ending where we were turned into a doll and T was playing dress up with us. <laughs> oh my god, this is some sadistic fucking shit, man. He's but this I, Twilight Zone up in here. Anyway, so we're gonna say you were not dirty and we'll continue on the good path. Like I said, we have one chapter with a choice and then we have our Christmas with T, so me too. I have something I have to say to you. You're not dirty. My voice was small but firm. T's eyes widened. I walked towards him as much as he backed away. T just stood there. I took a step forward and went closer to him. I never thought that your scars are dirty. T flinched. I never knew that behind his peaceful smile was such vulnerability. And... Where should I start? Before I could even gather my thoughts, I started pouring out words. I don't know why... Why I have to be dirty to be with you, since I never thought you were dirty in the first place. That's... Anyways, you said you'd like me, right? I felt my face turn red, but pretended to be bold. T just stared at me as, and soon nodded. I like you too. I like you just the way you are. So, I want you to stay that way. Like right now, by my side. Even the wind didn't blow on this quiet rooftop. The students enjoying the festival downstairs seem to exist in another world. You mean it? I nodded. T still looked unsure. I'm not scary or repulsive. I mean, you're a little scary, but not repulsive. That's not what... That's what you've been thinking of yourself all this time? T dropped his gaze at my question. I will never be able to fully understand his trauma since I didn't experience it myself. But at thinking how much he suffered because of it... My heart throbbed with pain. If I care this much about him, won't he be able to overcome his hurt? T whispered with his gaze still dropped. What if I still end up hurting you? Then I'll get over it. He flinched again. Yeah, I can just get over it. You know, he broke my arm, but it's fine. Oh my god. Girl. Mm. <laughs> mm -mm. There might be scars, but I'll forget about them. It's the two of us, so we can help each other. I can just get over the scars if I get them. Again! This is some abuse level shit! I mean, he loves me. It's okay that he pushed me down the stairs. Oh, Jesus. Oh, good God. Oh, near God. Um, girl, no. T slowly raised his head. I mean, if you're talking about, like, emotional scars, like, he says something that hurts you, oh, I'll get over it, because, you know, you understand that it was, you know, he's just lashing out. Okay, we'll work around it. But physical mm, abuse? No. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I saw in his eyes a new sense of fear and hope. Between those two fiercely opposing feelings, I wanted to root for hope. Trust me, and I'll trust you too. I'm your owner and you're my doll, and... And since... I really like you. I felt like the huge wall that's been weighing me down suddenly crumpled down. The wounds in my heart healed and a new tickly, tinkly warmth grew in its place. Tinkly. T looked like he couldn't believe what I just said. I gathered up my courage once more for tea. I need you. I'm so happy to start my day with the breakfast you cook me and end it with the tea you make me. And, or start my day with you waking me up first, actually. Every time I look at your smile, I get butterflies in my stomach. Spacey, I like everything about you. At one point, I began thinking of you sparkling. You were hurt in the past, so forget the past and let's be happy together. I need you. I love you so, so much. I couldn't handle my face getting red anymore and dropped my head. And then I heard T's voice from above. It came so close to me that our feet almost touched. Does that mean you're letting me? Huh? Oh, he looked excited like a little child. Before I knew it, his face was filled with excitement and hope for the new happiness instead of the fear of his past. I'm not letting you hurt me! I was overwhelmed with joy to see that. I nodded happily. 
I felt him lean closer to me. You're so adorable, I can't stand it. T tea? Aw, my heart pounded. His face was right in front of my nose, although this is extremely awkward looking and it doesn't look right. Well, let's just pretend it looks okay. But doesn't it? It looks weird, like the angle's not right, because his eyes should not be, like, right here. It should, I don't know. It just doesn't look right. His face was right in front of my nose. I'll treat you carefully. I'll protect you with all the strength I have. So you don't get hurt anymore. Spacey, my precious owner. The person who means the world to me. It feels also kind of wrong. Like, we, we make fun of, like, the whole Yuri dating a student thing. We're like, that's wrong! This is also kind of wrong, if you think about it. Like, we own that. You're my property! And I... This is weird. This is weird. If you want to... Let's not analyze that. Let's not think about how awkward that sounds when you say, my owner or master. Um... That's a little weird. His sweet, his sweet voice hovered around my ears, and he whispered into my burning ears, I would have done this months ago if you'd let me. Before I could even answer, his lips suddenly touched mine. My heart was beating so fast I thought it'd explode. T should be able to feel it too. I shut my eyes tight in embarrassment. He removed his soft lips and whispered, I want to be with you like this forever. If you let me, if you need me, I want to be by your side forever, Spacey. It all felt like a dream. I struggled to keep back the tears and accepted him. I saw the sunset surrounding him. Please let him be more peaceful now. Please let me be happy with tea. I prayed to the sun. Please let him not have beat me! Murder me. <laughs> You're such a greedy girl. Yes, you always were. You never failed to please me. It's no longer fun to fold airplanes with your torn diary. It just seems like not much f not much time is left. So it won't be so bad to just watch. Since I'm a good person just like you are. Ha <laughs> ha. Wasn't the alarm that was ringing so loud in the morning. The familiar melody. Is the phone ringing? I rubbed my sleepy eyes and held up the phone. Um, who is it calling so early? Huh? This number is... I immediately stood up when I read the number with my bleary eyes. Mom. It's an international call. That's true. We never had our mother call us. Mm, interesting. There's only one person who'd call me from overseas. I hurriedly picked up the call. Ahem. Hello? Oh my, were you sleeping? My mom pretended to be surprised at my sleepy voice. She's the one who called at this hour. Her voice was strange and familiar at the same time. Come to think of it, it's been more than a year since we last talked to each other. You haven't talked to your mom in a year? Jesus. Yeah, but I was just about to get up anyways. I tried to get my voice back. Sorry for calling you all of a sudden. It's just that your dad and I are back in the country for work. We came yesterday. So you guys are at the hotel? Yeah. You know the hotel by the airport we always stay in? Oh, wait. Do you, do you go to school today? Let's have dinner at the hotel restaurant. All right. The dinner was set up so suddenly, but I was honestly expecting it when she called. I see my parents maybe once a year. They're that busy, so they only call me when they plan to come home. But even at that, they rarely have time to leave the hotel. All right, then see you soon. Okay. We hadn't talked to each other in a long time, but all we did was decide on when to meet. We didn't even talk for a minute on the phone. <sighs> I got back in bed as soon as the call ended. Uh, it was just one phone call, but I felt tired. I pictured both my parents' faces I hadn't seen in a long time. Would they have changed a lot during the past year? No matter how much I think, I can't think of any special memories with them. It's natural since I've never been to a movie theater or an amusement park with them. The only places I went with them were the department store, toy shop, and maybe the park. I got used to them not being around a long time ago. Besides, since my grandpa was practically my parent, I was completely fine with it. But after Grandpa passed away, I felt their absence for the first time. I realized how lonely and bitter it is to be left alone in the house. I turned my eyes to where the dolls were lined up. I like how she has, like, a gorgeous, like, fucking couch for them. Like. Now I want to, how do we, there we go. Look, now you can see Yuri's pretty face. Although, I gotta be honest, it's so much sexier when you just see that pretty fucking eye. Like. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. 
Yeah, look at T. Yeah, I'm just lounging back. You're all sexy. Like, I like how she's got like a gorgeous, like a sexy couch for them. Like, I bought a couch for them to sit on. Like, I started buying all those dolls precisely because of that loneliness. I needed someone to say hi to and chat with. Although there never was an answer, the dolls were alive and talking in my imagination. Now my imagination has become reality, or we've literally lost our motherfucking mind. How did this miracle happen? How did they become human? Hmm, I'll never know the answer. Maybe it is really magic. I gave up uh, coming up with the answer and brief uh, buried myself in the pillow. You're still sleeping. I heard T's voice from outside the door. I couldn't help but smile at hearing that voice. My reality was now better than my dreams. I woke up completely at T's voice and stood up. I could tell T put more care into preparing breakfast than usual. Master, you seem so happy today. You know, seemed to feel good as well and beamed at me. Oh, yeah. I glimpsed at T and said. I smiled just to hear his voice. There was no way I couldn't be happy. It's good to be in love, but isn't it juvenile to discriminate people with food? Gary looked at his plate and complained. What's wrong? I even grated fresh cheese for you. You just grated the whole cheese. I can't handle all this dairy in the morning. And will you be responsible if I gain a bunch of weight for overeating on saturated fat? If you're worried about gaining weight, then I'll help you. T quickly reached out his hand to take away Yuri's plate. Yuri snatched it back amazingly fast. Hey, you! I can't help but laugh when they fight. Come to think of it, did they make up? They were still bickering, but they weren't being hostile as they were before. I smiled while looking at the two. T stopped trying to take Yuri's plate away and held up his steaming mug. Drink this after you're done eating. It'll be cool enough for you to drink. I smelled a sweet mango scent from the tea. Okay, thanks. I grinned after catching eyes with him. You got this from Banjul, right? I love all their drinks. <laughs> then why don't you stop by after class? Today? Yeah, I'll make you the best tea. Oh, today's a bit... I promised my parents I'd have dinner with them. Why? Do you have something? He's like, why? Are you abandoning me? Oh, God. Um... Is it okay if I go a bit late? When? Around nine, maybe? I calculated the hours while talking. If we have dinner at seven, I might be able to make it at nine. All right, I work until 11 anyways. Okay, I can see tea after school today. I think I'll feel good the whole day anticipating that. You should probably just tell him I have to meet my parents for dinner. I was about to take another bite of the omelet on my plate, but tea suddenly leaned over. Why are you going to be late? His voice was kind, but I could tell his eyes were serious. Yeah, because he does it. He's like, why? Why? Um, because I'm running away because you all scare me. Oh, um, T stared at me. I have a dinner appointment. A dinner appointment? With who? Oi, mom. Women don't like obsessive men. Obsessive? You know, made a strange face while munching on his eggs. Yeah, kind of like you, you were a little bit. Yeah. If you're nosy like Mama T's being right now, girls won't like you. Really? But T's popular. Because he's not like that to other people. He's actually very tiring once you get to know him. Why don't you stop there? Should I sprinkle some salt on your cheese? I'll refuse. Yuri took his plate and ran away. I laughed again to see that. <laughs> I'm done. I put down my fork after the delicious meal. Then should I get going? Everyone else is taking the limo, so I should take the bus by myself again. I took my bag and put on my jacket. And I put on the loafers I always wore. Today I'll go to the academy, have dinner at the hotel, and go see tea at Banjul. It'll be a busy day. But at the end of that busy day is tea. I feel energetic just to think about it. I think today will be a special day since I'm meeting my parents, too. All right, then let's get going. I was just about to reach out and grab the handle when someone stopped me. Tea? Wait. Huh? It was tea. Are you going now? Yeah. Today, Master, let's go to school together. You know, grabbed his bag and came between me and T. I think T was about to say something, but he couldn't because of Yinho. He. <laughs> He's like, I will fucking kill you. You know, was smiling innocently. T just stared at him. You know, saw me in my shoes and hurried up. He shoved his feet into his sneakers and started to tie the shoelaces. You know, yes. I put some cookies in the cabinet. Cookies? Caramel cookies. Oh! Yuno's eyes widened. 
and there's even a piece of Banjul's carrot cake in the fridge. How about taking it for dessert? You can share it with your friends at the Academy. Wow! Okay, I'll do that! You know, untie his shoelaces. Thanks, T! And he ran to the kitchen. Did you buy it for Yinho? He should be happy. As usual, T was so caring. It felt good to see him care for Yinho like a big brother. Not at all. Better safe than sorry. You can't call this my you can call this my hidden card. Hidden what? Now, let's go. Huh? Ah! T opened the front door and pushed me out. W wait, I thought I was going with Yinho. He doesn't even want you hanging out with your friends. Can't believe I'm waiting for the bus with T. Of course I do like it, but is it okay to just leave Yinho? I thought for a while. I'll probably notice I'm gone by now and start crying. Just stand still. What? I stood still while looking at T. He leaned over. Your ribbon is always crooked. T took off my ribbon and started tying it again. Our heads were about to touch since he's so tall. I felt embarrassed. So, with who? You didn't answer me before. Your dinner appointment. Who's it with? Oh, that? I must have been bothering him. Come to think of it, I didn't tell him I was meeting my parents. My parents? Really? He relaxed at my answer. Yeah. Okay. T stroked my hair. I almost worried there. You're like, oh my god, let's not be clingy and obsessive. Worry? Yeah, it's nothing. T told me not to care about it. Oh, the bus is here. Then I won't call you even if you're late. I can't interrupt when you're seeing your parents. Oh, yeah, thanks for caring. The bus stopped in front of us just as I finished talking. If it gets too late, call me and tell me where you are. I'll go pick you up. Oh, I felt butterflies in my stomach when he said that. I lowered my head to hide my blushed cheeks and got on the bus. And we never tell our parents. I mean, granted, usually this happens earlier. We're not totally in a relationship with the boy. Like, one of our dolls. Like, one of my dolls came to life and I'm in love and we're going to get married. And your parents are like, she needs therapy. We, we might probably do. As soon as I entered the classroom, I saw Soy with her mirror. It was so cute the way she fluttered her eyes and studied herself in, di in different angles. Is she back to the way she was? Or is she still having a hard time because of me? It was hard for me to be friends with her because of those worries. Oh, it was hard for me to be with her. I was like, what? I should get another perm. Which salon should I go to? I think my stylist is pretty good. How about dyeing your hair this time? Dyeing my hair? Yeah, the salon I go to is really good at dyeing your hair blue. <laughs> you want me to dye my hair blue like you? No, it won't look good on me. Pink might be okay, though. Hmm, pink. The girl who works at the convenience store in front of the station has pink hair. Oh, I know that girl. Isn't her name Cherry or something? She looks cute, but she doesn't seem to be that nice. I just don't like the fact that her hair's pink. That's my color. You can't own colors, you know. If I say it's my color, then it is. So he seems to have fully recovered. I felt relieved to see her be herself again. Oh, right. She has a boyfriend. Yeah, his hair color is similar to mine. I don't like it. What? I thought you can't own colors. Well, they do look good in their hair colors, though. Eyes are a bit more closer to pastel. So don't worry, you're still special. Soy winked towards Shinbi. Good morning. I carefully said hi to Soy. She turned around to see me and grinned. Here comes the girl in love. You probably came to school with him this morning, right? Where did you hear that? <laughs> I felt relieved again and put down my bag. To be honest, I didn't know how to, to thank Soy. She gave up on the person she likes for me. It would have been so hard for me to do that. I wanted to show her how I really am because of that. My genuine self. Including my special hobby. Alright, there's a deal I have to make with you. A deal? Ahem. So I took out something from her bag pocket. This. This is... I've seen this before. Tickets to the amusement park? I received these from the principal before. It's for Christmas Day. How did you... It's really get hard to get tickets for Christmas. I entered my name in this event held by the magazine Shinbi was in and I won. I entered about a month ago. I thought I'd never win though. A month ago? Then did she enter so she could go to the amusement park with T? I felt bad about taking it after thinking that. Can I really take them? I'm saying this since you might feel a bit uncomfortable, but this is a deal. A deal? Yeah, I'll give you the tickets and you set up a blind date for me. 
The deal was so like, like soy, I couldn't help but laugh. Anyways, a blind date. Didn't you say you believed in destined love? Are you okay with going on a blind date? I'm going to be realistic from now on. That's a quick change. I'm a passionate woman. You mean you're lonely. Shut up! <laughs> Alright, I'll see what I can do. A man to introduce her. I can't come up with any anyone right now, but... Hey. Yeah? The door. I looked at the door. Oh, God. T was standing in front of the door and looking at me. Oh. Oh, my! What an intense morning. Go. Okay. I headed towards T. Uh-oh. Before I knew it, everyone in the classroom was staring at me. You seem to be having fun with your friends. Oh, what's up? I glimpsed around, conscious of everyone watching. I wanted to see you. T casually said with a bright grin. Okay, Clingy McClingerson. At that, my face turned red in an instant. How, how can you just say that so casually? I remembered I had a hard time calming down my pounding heart on the bus. Maybe T's more talented than Yuri in that area. Hey, you cockroaches! Why don't you stop touching each other's antennas in front of the classroom? Oh, did I block the way? Sorry. Did you just call us cockroaches? To be honest, you're not just blocking the way. You're making us blind, too. Your cheesiness is making my eyes scream in pain. Hmm, then how about closing your eyes? I think Soy got closer to T after she broke up with him. I think they become a strangely honest pair. I don't know how they can st stay like that after breaking up. They weren't really ever dating, technically, because... He never had feelings for her, so it's probably because it's soy. Anyways, I'll be looking forward to that blind date. I'll make a boyfriend fast and avenge you. A blind date? She's going to set up a blind date for me. We made a deal. You can hear the details from her. <laughs> All right. You'll be able to meet someone much better. Ha! <laughs> I'm going to date someone really hot and show him you two. And show him to you two. Oh, that's it. So I clenched her fist and burned with determination. And do I have to set up the date with someone really hot? I suddenly felt burdened. T smiled at seeing that and waggled his fingers at me. Um, can I talk to you for a sec? Class will start soon. No, not you. You. He was pointing at Soy. Me? Soy looked flustered and asked. And I'd like to thank your model friend, too. Soy froze for a bit, but soon called Shinbi. What does he have to say to them? I couldn't even guess. Oh, then... I feel like I have to leave the three to be by themselves. I'll go back into the classroom. He would have told me if I had to hear it, too. I glimpsed toward the three and left. Interesting. Went back to my seat and prepared for class. I saw the door and saw Soy and Shinbi listening to what T was saying. I couldn't hear what he was talking about. What are they talking about? I wanted to know what they were talking about without me. But there was no way I could hear the conversation. I soon gave up and opened my textbook. I didn't know what they were talking about by themselves, but there must be a reason. I decided not to doubt T anymore. I should focus on meeting my parents more. After school, I went back home to change my clothes and got in a taxi. I sat down, got comfortable, and after telling the driver the address of the hotel, I thought of my parents. I'm a bit excited. I haven't seen them in a long time, but thankfully they didn't change much. You've grown up so much! Really? Yeah, we worried whether you'd fi be fine after your grandfather passed away. I'm all grown up now, you know. Don't worry. I bluffed as usual so as not to worry them. But how can we not? I worry every day if you're eating right, if you're cleaning up. Of course they'll all sound like nagging to you. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm sorry. I can <laughs> you're a bitch. The mom's a bitch. She's just a fucking bitch. I can't help it. But the thing I'm most worried about is this. Whether you... Whether you feel lonely... Mom held onto my hands tight while saying that. I mean, that's normally a nice thing for a mom to say, but she's just been such a cunty bitch sometimes. And this whole thing. Oh, you're so crazy. You should care what people think. You should like me. And you're like, Mom, you're a, this mom is a douche. So I just, even though she just said something nice, like, I just worry if you're lonely. That's like such a normal, caring, normal mom thing to say. But I'm just so over this mom that I just can't think that there's anything nice behind her words. I felt her worry. I've definitely heard her say this before. Even at Grandpa's funeral, she says she worries about me feeling lonely. I didn't really understand it then. But when I really started living by myself, I realized how horrible that loneliness was. But now... I think of the ball-jointed dolls in my house. Thanks to those kids, I didn't feel lonely anymore. If it weren't for them, I'd... Thank you for worrying. I feel like now I truly realize how much they worry about me. They must be sorry more than anyone else that they can only tell me this through the phone. 
but it's not that I don't know how much they love me. I did know when I was little, but I didn't know when I was little, but... After I've truly worried for someone and loved someone, I now understand how they feel. I've become stronger by living alone, Mom. I know what it's like to be lonely, and I've tried to overcome that my own way. I felt and learned a lot in the process. I tried. I tried to live a happy life. To forget my loneliness. Grandpa taught me about the importance of leading a happy life. And it was me who found a way to live uh, that happy life through the dolls. Oh my, what's wrong? Something going on. Before I knew it, I was crying. I could see both of their worried faces because of my tears. My family. I suddenly remembered Grandpa. And I remembered the emptiness I felt when he passed away. And the loneliness that followed. And when all my days were depressing and hopeless, something appeared like magic. My dolls that always waited for me and watched over me. Even if no one understands my hobby, they're so beautiful and mean so much to me. I mean, seriously, look at Lance's goddamn fucking face. Like, you know, adorable. Red kind of looks a little goofy, but still cute. In a goofy kind of way. He's slightly goofy the way they drew him, but like, Lance is goddamn beautiful. T's, and then even Yuri, Jesus, this is one of the best pictures. Like, they also helped me grow up. What's wrong with me? I couldn't help but cry at the sudden emotions. I hurriedly wiped them off. I stopped crying and smiled at my startled parents. Thank you for worrying about me, even when you guys are so far away. Sorry, I was about to yawn. <laughs> Try to talk through the yawning. They still look surprised, but they quickly listened to what I had to say. But I'm okay. I'm, I tried not to be lonely. I searched for a way and found something I really like. I felt happy to find something I genuinely love. I'm still happy now. Of course, sometimes I had to survive on ramen because I ran out of my allowance and stayed up all night because of the excitement, but I feel happy that way. I'm happy. So don't worry about me. I'm happy. Seriously, Mom, I'm happy. There are kids who are by my side. I'm happy. I just... Really? You you said it an awful lot. I'm thinking maybe you're not. I wiped away the tears and smiled at them. I mean, obviously she is, but I'm just like... Do you mean the dolls? I nodded. Mom seemed to think for a while. Okay, I'm glad you're happy. Glad to see you look much brighter than when I saw you at Father's funeral. Honey! Mom looked a bit worried. Of course I understand that you worry about my hobby. You're just caring for me. But my hobby is nothing weird. It doesn't harm anyone, and the dolls give me courage and joy. Without them... I never, I would never have grown up. Besides, they're already a part of my life. Mom looked at me speechless. Did she understand? Of course, she might not have. But I thought it was a huge improvement that she listened to what I had to say. I'd be like, and I have some really great friends. I think I've become more positive after staying with the boys. <laughs> I couldn't help but smile to think of my other family at home. Okay... To be honest, the reason why we work overseas is because we enjoy it. If you're not harming anyone, or if it's not hindering your life, then it's good to pursue something that makes you happy. My god, this is the nicest our mom has ever been. Do what makes you happy, but you must watch your surroundings. And I have nothing but trust for you concerning that. My mom still looked worried, but I was so happy. I feel like I was going to cry again. I feel like I'm becoming much closer to them. And thinking of, and thinking of Grandpa made me choke up again. We should talk about Grandpa. My parents nodded. After he passed away, you have no idea how hard I tried to keep the orchid in his room alive. I slowly told them the family stories I never told anyone about. And to think that it was also my family who was listening to me, I felt overwhelmed. We talked for a long time. Is it because I opened up? I thought an hour would be enough, but we ended up staying together for much longer. I couldn't even call tea and finish dinner much later than the time I said I'd be a banjool. All I could think about was tea on my way back. If I see him, I want to tell him I got much closer to my parents. You should call him as soon as you leave. Like, hey, I'm sorry I didn't call you earlier. Then T would definitely smile and say good job. I couldn't help but smile to think that. Then take care. Yeah, call us if anything happens. Okay, both of you, don't worry about me. I'm sorry we have to leave in such a rush. I know that you guys are busy. I have no idea when you grew up this much. Ah ha ha ha. I'm sorry. <laughs> And be careful, and you have to go straight home, all right? Yes, Mom. I said my last goodbye and left the hotel to take a cab. I never had this much fun with my parents. I realized yet again how much they love me. Next time, I should call them first. Come to think of it, my parents were always the ones who called me. I think now I can reach out to them first. You don't have, like, your parents' phone number. Like, it's an international number. It should be programmed in your phone as mom. Ugh, it's really late. 
When I was about to call T despite the late hour, my phone rang. It was T. Sorry, I'm really late. As soon as I picked up the call, I said sorry. Is it over? Yeah, I just got out of the cab. I'll be there so I just got into the cab. I'll be there soon. Okay, I didn't call because I didn't want to interrupt, but I'm glad you arrived safe. Yeah, I'm almost there, so wait a bit more. Okay, I'll wait. He hung up. Banjo should be coming up around now. Maybe you might help clean up. I hurried. This worries me. Excuse me. Huh? Sure enough, Banjo was completely dark. Are they closed? I looked at the clock and it was way past 11. But then why is the door still open? T? I whispered his name in the dark. At that moment, the stage light turned on and I saw the harp. Finally, the guest is here! Then everyone will start the special show now! Zion was standing beside the harp. I know it's not the voice I get. The special show? Wow! It was Yino who was clapping. The light wasn't bright, so I couldn't see very well, but Red, Yuri, and even Lance are here? What? Take a seat, princess. Yuri led me to a chair in front of the stage. What? What's happening? Do not waste more time. I want this to end fast. This is not my specialty. You shouldn't have come in the first place if you hated so much. T asked me, so I had to come. Hmm. You're so pretty close. Oh, hmm. So you're pretty close with that sly jerk. I was bewildered, but sat in the chair you were, Yuri pointed to. And everything turned silent when I sat down. The lights were so dim, I felt like they would turn off any time now. I slowly looked around the whole cafe. I couldn't find the one person I was looking for. At that moment, I heard a small piano sound. The melody was beautiful. Who is it? T knows how to play the piano. The lights turned on above the piano. But Yuri's the musician. The person playing the piano was... T? It was T who was sitting in front of the piano and playing... And yet, we already had a beautiful, like, CG of Yuri playing the piano, and now we have a T CG of playing the piano. Okay, guys, we overused the piano a little bit much, is all I'm saying. <laughs> like, uh, he was under the stage light, surrounded by beautiful melodies. He looked much more handsome than usual. Zion started playing the harp and went along with the piano melody. It's so beautiful. I mean, I'm not saying that two of our dolls can't play the piano, but I just mean, like, music is Yuri's thing, so... A dreamlike concert was happening right in front of my eyes. It was so beautiful, I wanted to remember every single second of it. T's skillfully moving hands, the entrancing melody, and him focused with his eyes closed. I couldn't take my eyes off him, and we caught eyes when he suddenly opened them. He was smiling at me. I felt like crying again. What's wrong with me today? I'm happy. I'm so happy, I feel like my heart is going to burst, and sometimes when you're happy, you cry because you're happy. I'm so glad I can take in all of his sadness and hurt. I'm so glad I can look at him like this. The person I like. My doll. His sad past and his wounds are now ours. If we're together, we can get rid of the baggage and add, and add the happiness. T always stood by me to become a pair like we are now. And the way I felt for T hasn't changed from the beginning. A piece of the mind collected. Huh? I suddenly felt like I was seeing feathers hovering in front of me. Is it an illusion? Is this a dream? Even if it's all just a lie, everything feels so beautiful right now. The dreamlike music ended. After the playing finished, T quickly stood up and came towards me. The lighting was still dark, so all I could see was him walking towards me. Uh, T came very close to me. Did you like the music? I was too overwhelmed to speak, so I just nodded. I'm glad. There's something I want to officially say to you with everyone here. Will you listen, Spacey? The sweetest voice in the world rang in my ears. I nodded again. Thank you for taking me out of the box. I fell in love with you from the moment you freed me from my imprisoned existence. There wasn't a single moment I spent with you where I wasn't happy. I mean, do you really love us or you're just like, Oh, thank God, someone took me- I love you, you took me out of the box. And you're like, it could have been anyone that took you out of the box and you would have loved them. I'm just saying. I mean, I guess- go us because we're awesome and all but I mean I don't I don't know even when I felt devastated to look at you it was a beautiful experience the way you blink the way you walk and the way you breathe everything about you was so beautiful in my eyes that's a little creepy 
It's one thing to be like, you really, the way you breathe. That's a little... Okay. My precious treasure. Now, I won't hesitate to reach you. Now I can hold your hand and hug you like this, right? T grabbed my hand softly, and he carefully put my hand on his chest. This is yours. T's heart was beating so fast I couldn't believe it. The reason I'm alive is because of you. Will you accept me as I am? T waited for my answer and stared at me. Let me think about it. Oh my god. I know we're supposed to nod. Yeah, okay. I'm just double checking. I nod. Let me think about it. Oh my god. Uh, let me think about it. Holy oh, come this far and be like, let me think about it. I held onto his hand tightly. I could feel his sweaty hands tremble. That tremble was so adorable. I looked at T and nodded. Yes. Take my hand. The bald jointed dolls I started collecting to escape my loneliness. The unbelievable moment when they all turned human. I still love her face, Megan. And they're all like, oh, hold on. Oh. Look, at, look at Yuri. His hair back and a fucking like, headband. Oh. T and his heart apron. Beautiful. And how much I grew from everything that happened afterward. This sounds like it's the end of the game and it's... We still have red and, like, the secret route. All those things made me have the heart to love somebody. And made me be loved, too. Thank you. Stop! Stop now! When are you gonna stop treating us like bridesmaids? Soy? I was startled at the familiar voice and turned around. Soy was pouting and looking at us. Because we are bridesmaids. Hmm, but it's torture to suffer more of that. So no more! Oh! Then did Soy and Shinbi hear everything we said? Even when he said I took him out of a box? I don't know what you're talking about, but you're done confessing your love, right? <laughs> I think he is, Zion said while moving away from the harp. You don't forget to set up the blind date for me, all right? I'll make sure you pay for this. She helped a lot from the afternoon today. She moved all the chairs. Nothing too difficult to do for a friend. Besides, her boyfriend asked me so desperately. So I said while glimpsing at T. T smiled to see that. T asked her? Then the conversation they had earlier in front of the classroom was, of course. My faith wasn't wrong. Hmm, that was very nice, Zion. I think I should use you to sell concert tickets now. I might be able to make money just with the harp concerts. Mr. Holman, stop thinking about ways to use me. And what's all that in front of you? What do you mean, what? They're sweets. Candies, chocolates, and biscuits. Mr. Hoban's table was completely covered in all kinds of sweets. Why did you bring so much food to watch a concert? I had no choice. I needed a glass of wine on a day like this. But I can't because of you guys. And I can't even smoke since I quit. See? Now we know he's trying to quit smoking. I don't know if you'll be able to quit smoking with all the sweets. But you will definitely die early from all the cholesterol. Don't worry. I have a high metabolism. I wish I'd gained some weight, actually. You know what? Fuck you, Hoban. You know what? We liked you. Now we don't. Bite me, bitch. Oh, I wish I could get... Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Bastard. Wow, that's so annoying. Thank you, Soy. <sighs> I feel you. I gain weight as much as I eat, too. So I'm on a diet these days. Diet? What kind? I'll join you. Soy twinkled her eyes and looked at Zion. They get along so well. I want those cookies. The chocolate chip ones look so good. <sighs> So is there anything else I can help with? Lance asked T. Thanks for coming, everyone. T said while looking around. I followed T and looked around, too. I mean, hello, at least Yuri proposed to us, is all I'm saying. Everyone at Banjul, even my family, Soy and Shinbi were here. I'm so happy that everyone's all here. I said while smiling wholeheartedly. I want to do everything that makes you happy. Calling your friends, and of course, practicing the piano. When did you learn how to play the piano? T was never assigned that skill. The special training paid off. I had doubts when he first asked me to teach him. Yuri teased him. But I ended up being the frustrated one because he learned so fast. Thanks for the compliment. Anyway, I guess I owe you again. I don't accept anything other than luxury items, so keep that in mind. I can make you a luxury tea from Banjul. Don't try to breeze through. Such a jerk. Yuri glared at tea. There's this thing called onion diet? I tried that, but my breath started to stink, so I didn't like it. 
Oh, really? Zion and Soy were chatting away on one side. Zion, are your eyelashes green too? Yeah. Can I touch them? What? What? Stay still. Uh, uh, hey. They look weirdly good together. Maybe I won't have to set up that blind date after all. I think I'm becoming more like tea and trying to breeze through. I barely stopped myself from laughing and looked around the cafe once more. There were so many people I loved standing here. It's like I'm lying down on an aromatic flower bed. I feel like I have all the happiness in the world. I'm so happy. So happy. Zion's diary or Mr. Hoban's diary? I want to record every single thing that's happened today. Thanks to that, my hand was busy, excitedly writing down everything in my diary. I never want to forget this day. Since Grandpa said that a diary is the a bowl that holds your memories. Phew, finished. After I closed the diary, I stared at the cover. I have no memories of the last two days. Between those days, my diary entries disappeared too. I only remember the weird voice I often heard and the headaches I had. I don't know what it is, but it's probably because I'm too exhausted. That's how I rationalized it. T gave me some pills I've never seen before, and he was nice to me again. What the hell has happened during the last two days? And T and Soy suddenly broke up. For some reason, I feel like it's because of me, and my heart's pounding because of that. What the hell is going on? Today's the festival. Yinho smiled at me in his booth, telling me that he wants me to be happy. Maybe that's why, but something happened today that made me happy. Yuri did become the scapegoat, but I got to know all about T's scars. T suffered through a burden that was heavier than I thought. Ha ha, I'm petting the burden. He screamed at me. It's okay, even if, I, even if he can't tell me all of it at once. I can just slowly get to know about him and help him overcome his past. I'm excited about the path we'll be walking on together. My parents called this morning. They came without telling me. I'm not even surprised now. We ate at the hotel restaurant and talked about a lot of things. I told them for the first time what the dolls mean to me. I had no idea that I could speak so eloquently. I feel like I rediscovered feelings from my childhood that I had lost uh, before. I don't really know what that means. Mm-hmm. But anyways, we all felt warmth. After that, I went to Banjula's tea asked, tea's romantic performance, and the words after that. And I looked around and found everyone with us, my amazing family and friends. Everyone was there. I'm happy. I'm unbelievably happy. Like, everything was like, I'm doing a story, and then I was like, everyone was there. I looked around. People, things, there, happy, yes. Like, <laughs> please, keep my memories safe. Think of what Grandpa said. I feel like I thought about him a lot today. Grandpa, are you watching? I watch the night sky outside the window. I feel like Grandpa is watching over me in the night sky. I can imagine him praying for my happiness with his warm smile. I feel like I can just go back to the days when he was alive in this house. I miss you. At that moment, I heard a knock. Yeah, come in. I could guess who it would be. And I was right. What are you doing? Waiting for you to... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was trying to think of something eloquent to say, and it just didn't work, so I was just to ravage me. Yeah, that works. That's not as eloquent as I was going for, but... Mm-hmm. Come on, T. Lance did it. Yuri did it. Let's go. Oh, T. I was just writing in my diary. Okay, I brought you some tea. T came to me and laid down a mug on my desk. Huh, is it triple Z? I brought something special for you today. I made my own blend for you. Really? I smelled the scent at hearing it, uh, that it was a new flavor. You seem to like vanilla. I held the mug up to my mouth. It smells good. I could sense the sweet vanilla scent. It's a special blend just for you. Thank you. Of course, I didn't make it for free. What? You should now remember that your doll is quite meticulous. Of course, I'd ignore everything and sacrifice for you any time. But only when I have nothing I want from you. What are you saying? I'm saying that if I want something from you like I do now, I can bribe you like this. Can I really drink this? You already smelled it, and it's done. Oh, oh, tea. Here, I brought you tea so you'll have sex with me. I'm not sure that's how it works, but I'm not going to oppose it at this point. What do you want? Oh! He'll spill it, so give it to me. T snatched away the tea I haven't even tasted and laid the mug on the table. And he turned the chair so that I faced him. My heart started pounding all of a sudden. My face must have gotten red again since it was burning. What? What are you doing? I was so lonely the whole day. 
You're the one who made me lonely, so I want to whine a bit. You'll let me write, Spacey? T whispered in my ear. Can I at least drink the tea first? If you really want to taste that tea. T reached out and grabbed the mug. I held out my hand to take it from him, but he held it up and took a sip. And then he's going to like, oh, what did, oh, God, du uh, double dip in the, I'm going to take a sip and spit it in your mouth. This is, that's weird, T. Stop being a mama bird. And, oh, yep. Yeah. The vanilla flavored tea flowed into my mouth from his. That's a little weird, but okay. I was startled and grabbed his shoulders. T softly fed me the tea bit by bit. That's awkward. I know it's supposed to be like cute and romantic, but it's a little weird. Okay, sure. What, you know what? You guys do you. Weirdness. I forced myself to calm down and just let him. You're really so stubborn. I wanted to shout this to him, but I couldn't say anything. After he fed me all the tea, he carefully removed his lips. That is so weird. I mean, it's one thing to like, oh, now you can taste the tea because it's in my mouth. Like, But like constantly like sip, spit it in your mouth, sip, spit it in your mouth. I mean, just imagine that now for a second. And you're like, and the first th kiss with it, you're like, oh, that's a little weird. But I, I, okay, we'll go with the trying to be romantic and sexy, even though it's strange. But fine, fine, fine. But you just keep doing it. And now it crossed the line into really, really, really fucking weird. <laughs> and he's looking at Matt. We're like, what the fuck? And he's like, hi. <laughs> That's a crazy look. <sighs> How is it? Tea's special blend. I can see why it's special. <laughs> this is so like a dream. I can't believe I just did that to you. Even right now, if I just reach out and grab you, I can probably break you. But I don't want to. I don't want to see you hurt. I want to see you smile. If you get hurt, you'll remember me more. But I won't be that greedy. Since you are precious to me. And then you say things like that and it's creepy. T. Why are her ears so far down? Like, her ear is on her... Up. Uh, it should be up a little bit. I want to see you smile. I want to see you be happy. Thanks for being with me, Spacey. I'm starting to think we have Stockholm Syndrome. I'll love you. Oh, wait. I love you. I'll love only you forever. I love you. I love only you, Spacey. You just said that. His sweet voice echoed through the room. His hand carefully touched my shoulder. And... It's getting close. Any moment now, we can meet. It's like, it's getting close. Any moment now, it's like, oh, that creepy voice is watching him do me. It's like, we can meet. Oh, okay. That's not what you meant. <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm sorry. That kiss was not at all what he was trying to get to us for the tea. He got his tea, got the tea. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I got a letter. Let's see. It's from Kroby doll. A catalog or something. I opened the unexpected letter. Huh. It's included. <sighs> I breathed heavily. What's going on? What's so urgent? Look at this. I held out the letter to T to nameless MC. Huh? This is Crobydale's special event. We will offer paid exchange for all discontinued dolls. T, your model is included. I thought you should know. I knew that T was bothered by the fact that he was a damaged doll. And I knew that it was the starting point of all his darkness. Of course, he doesn't show it now, but it won't be possible to get rid of it completely. Yeah, my model is included. He looked at the list a bit longingly. Yeah. Do you? I was thinking about how I should I ask him, like, what, do you want to get another leg? But at that moment, T spoke first. Your smartphone. Hmm? You dropped it once and it was scratched, right? Oh, yeah. I retraced my memories and nodded. Just a bit after you gave me the phone, I dropped it. What do you think when you look at that scratch? Um... I remember when I dropped it, and I remember all the other tiny things. Yeah. T nodded. I... I don't want the scars or the scratches to fade away. Now, at least. And... It's not so bad to change. I had a hard time before because of the scar, but I'm stronger because of it now. When I look at the scar, I'm reminded of how much I changed. And this is how I got to meet you. So... He smiled at me. Aw, good, you're embracing your scars. It's beautiful. 
You mean you don't want to exchange the parts? Why don't you spend that money to buy a piece of cake at Banjul, miss? I completely understood what he said and nodded. I know how he feels. I look back at the flyer. This is the chance to erase his wounds. But he decided to change without erasing them. If I'm with T from now on, we'll be able to grow more. That's sweet. Go slowly, you'll trip on something. Hurry up, the line will get super long if we're late. We took the ticket Soy gave us and headed to the amusement park. Sure enough, it was already packed with couples. Yes, today is Christmas. I took his hand and dragged him to the merry-go-round. You rode it last time. You're going to ride it today again? Why? What's wrong with that? It's fun. Or do you have anything else you want to ride? Hmm, the Ferris wheel? Uh, what's wrong? Oh, did you just imagine something? You perv. You're the perv! I slapped his arm and he smiled teasingly. Um, hi, what are we going to imagine? Uh, what, you've already fed us tea? Oddly, and then probably bone does. I'm just going to go with that, because, I mean, we already know. I'm sorry, Lance's was still the best with the, like, I want you to call my name all night. What did you just say? The fuck? And then, of course, we know we, there's no way you weren't going to have sex with Yuri. Jesus Christ. There's no your way Yuri wasn't going to make you put out. <laughs> or, I'm sorry. There's no way Yuri wasn't going to put out. And that, I'm just going to guess that's what happened after the tea incident with tea. The tea feeding incident was some sex in time. Some sexy times with tea. I mean, they had some sexy times with tea, and then there was some sexy times with tea, the doll, not the drink. The first time was with the drink. It was... Uh, how? All right, all right. I'll stop teasing you, so let's go. There'll be a lot of people even at the merry-go-round today. Wow, you were right. I've never seen this many people at the merry-go-round. Since it was Christmas, even the line for the merry-go-round was long. There's so many people. Should we ride something else? I think this has the shortest line, though. Other lines will be twice as long. And you want to ride this. Our turn will come if we wait. I knew Soy's curse would come true. Before vacation started, Soy cursed me and said I'd be trampled in the crowd. I couldn't help but sigh at thinking that we'd have to wait a long time for our turn to come. <laughs> what do you mean a curse? I'd actually like that it's crowded. It really feels like we're on a date. That's true. First, there's a machine that automatically gives us a waiting number, so let's go to that. And then we should wait on the bench and come back for the ride. Um, it sounds complicated, but it means we can rest, right? Yeah. My legs hurt. There were so many people in the bus, I was standing for more than 40 minutes. Why isn't tea coming? I craned my neck and looked where tea would be. Then suddenly, I felt something cold touch my neck. Eek! Calm down, I won't hurt you. You, you scared me. I felt on my neck. Wait. T calmed me down and fumbled with the thing on my neck. Did he give you a necklace? And then he returned to my side. I touched around my neck with my hands. A necklace? It looks good on you. Aww. Yuri gave us an engagement ring is all I'm saying. You know, none of the other ones gave us anything, though. Lance. Oh, I mean, he gave us little Lance. I'm sure he gave it to us good if we were calling his name all night. You know, gave us nothing but trauma. Well, he gave us trauma. Oh, that's the gift that keeps on giving. T looked at me proudly. I can't see it. Of course, you're wearing it. Look in the mirror later. You'll like it. How do you know that? You should have shown it to me first. <laughs> I know that you'll wear it, even if you don't like it. T leaned his head on me. Aww. Right? I could feel his warmth through his forehead. Hold on. Oh, it's like a little heart. Of course it's a heart. How? Oh, sorry. No, I was like, how have you noticed? Wow. Wow. Have you noticed it's snowing? Yeah, it's pretty. I'll take a picture. Since you look so pretty today. T smiled soft. How can she not see that? It's like dangling. Like she can't glance down. Come on. It's not that short. His smile shined bright. Let me be happy with T forever. I prayed. No. Nope. I think I pressed the wrong button on the machine. I only got one ticket. Why don't you ride first? I'll watch you from the outside. Be careful on your feet. Hold my hand. You can ride this by yourself, right? Huh? Me? 
Oh, oh, that was tea. I feel happy just to see you have fun. Then I'll be waiting. See you later. The melody echoed through the ride and signaled the start of the ride. The merry-go-round started to move slowly. I could see T waving at me from afar. It's finally over. <sighs> so how was it for you this time? Did you have fun? Was it funny? Sadly, this wasn't it for me again. I expected a fancier story. But since I already have the collected pieces, you'll be able to see me again. Just slowly tread on the path that leads you to me. That's the doll we buried, isn't it? Huh? T, where are you? Oh god, guys. Bird. Bird is in my face. The end. I just, it saddens me more. Happy end! And then they're always gone, like. Um. So we'll check out our lovely album pictures. Do, 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 do. Oh, can we not, like, scroll through them? I don't know how to do that. Anyway. Oh, after he keeps feeding us tea that is drugged. He drugs our tea. And then he devious tea. I mean... Forcing that because we're like, get away from us! Rapey. That one looks so awkward. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, this face doesn't look right. You're like, look, he's so gentle and pretty. <laughs> crazy face. I like the crazy face, though. It's cute, but it's like, hi, I'm a little bit crazy. That one's cute. Aww. <laughs> There's us working at the cafe! <laughs> this one's actually really pretty. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I like all the colors, but it's so scary that he made her a ball jointed doll. But then that concerns me. Like, should we be concerned? It's just, like, foreshadowing. Uh, okay. Um, That was the album we did. And memory, we got... Yeah, we got everything. Okay. Bonus. Whose voices did we unlock this time? Oh, we got Soy's voice. Wait, didn't we? Wait. We heard Zion's before and Mr. Hoban, right? And sh I know we did Shinbi. I don't think we heard Soy's voice before. 안녕하세요. 네, 저는 어 이번에 네임리스에서 소이 역할을 맡은 투니버스 칠기 김영훈입니다. 반갑습니다. Her voice is a little deeper than like <웃음> I imagine Soy. 네, 아, 이번에 제가 어 소이라는 역할을 맡아서 이렇게 연기를 하게 됐는데요. 아, 사실 대본을 I like our voice for her way better. 왜냐면 <웃음> 저는 주인공 친구라고 해서 그냥 이렇게 잠깐 잠깐 등장하고 말줄 알았는데 어, 웬만한 주인공보다 대사가 많, 많아요. <웃음> 그래서 <웃음> 깜짝 놀랐어요. 네. <웃음> 이렇게 말이 많은 애일 줄이야. 네. 저는 뭐 되게 Now I can hear tea. That music man so loud. 안녕하세요. 태입니다. <웃음> 와, 정말 <웃음> 밖에서도 지금 저에게 박수를 쳐주고 like 저도 저에게 박수를 쳐주고 싶네요. <웃음> 두상 타는 이런. <웃음> 아 지금 녹음을 막 끝내고 바로 프리토크를 like so 이어서 like, 하고 있습니다. 그래서 it me, 어, it. 조금 지친 느낌이 들 거예요. 네, 이해해 주세요. 네 <웃음> 시간 녹음을 끝냈더니 아, 정신 하나도 없네요. 아, 솔직히 정신이 없는 이유는 배가 고픈 이유가 더 크기도 합니다. 점심을 걸어오면서 대충 주워 먹고 <웃음> 길에 이렇게 떨어진 거몇 개. Just like when he laughs and stuff, really. Um, and then we actually have the. 고생 많았어, darling. So let's see something. We did we read the second page of Lance's? I can't remember. I know we read all Yinho's. We can read all T's. We read all Yuri's. Did we read the second page of Lance's? These are new. 하피스트의 꿈은 영원하다. 어린 시절. 줄임배를 움켜잡고 반줄이라는 카페에 들어갔다. 부유해 보이는 카페였기에 내가 불쌍한 표정을 지으면 빵이라도 주지 않을까 하는 기대였었다. 그때 웨딩 피치라고 이름을 밝힌 분이 쿠키를 나누어 주셨다. 인자하신 그분은 나에게 학부 공연이 있다며 보러 가라고 했다. 그 당시에 호빈 점장님은 
창립 투어를 떠나신 중이었고 실제 하피스트가 카페를 운영하고 있었다. 그래, 그때는 하프를 칠줄 아는 사람이 반줄에 있었지. 그래서 환상을 가졌던 건지도 모르겠다. 동그란 안경을 낀 갈색머리 남자가 하프를 연주했는데 그 자리에서 매료되고 말았다. He talks 그래, so slow and gently. 하피스트가 되어야겠다. 그렇게 생각했던 like 때가 I'm story. 초등학교 I'm just gonna be like, 2학년 때. 그후 하피스트가 되기 위해 공부를 계속해오고 있었다. 그러나 중학교 oh 2학년 아버지의 사업 실패로 형편상 도저히 하프를 배울 수가 없게 되었다. I'm not sure where he is. 하프뿐만이 아니었다. 학교조차 제대로 다닐 수 없는 학교를 배워버렸다. 그리하여 다시 줄임배를 움켜잡고 찾은 반줄. 그런데 이게 웬일? 웬 아저씨가 날 쫓아내지 않는가? 호빈 점장님은 빗자루로 날 생쥐 취급하며 쫓아냈었다. 하지만 난 포기하지 않았다. 하프가 너무 좋아서 매번 찾아간 반줄. 그때마다 점장님은 바쁘다며 날 쫓아냈었지. 그리고 비오던 어느 날 나는 반줄 앞에서 울면서 단팥빵을 씹고 있었고 호빈 점장은 비에 젖은 내 모습을 보더니 결국엔 가게 안으로 들여보내 주었다. 나는 하프를 반짝이는 눈으로 바라보았고 호빈 점장님은 하프를 닦을 수 있는 영광을 줄 테니 최저임금 미만으로 일하라고 했다. 나에겐 선택의 여지가 없었다. 이야기하다 보니 눈물이 마구 흐르잖아. Like really 눈물 젖은 단팥빵이 얼마나 맛있는 줄 아세요? 아무튼 그렇게 해서 반주에서 일하게 되었습니다. Hmm. 저의 하피스트의 꿈 지지해 주실 거죠? 저 열심히 연주할게요. 페이도 그렇게 안 비싸요. <웃음> 연락 주세요. Okay, good lord. I usually let them talk. I was like, we're gonna be here for like four days because he talks so slow and like calmly, and it's like, oh my god, go faster! Because I just couldn't follow along. I didn't know where he was. I'm like, I can hear harp and hoban, and like. But that's what he says all the whole thing. Anyway, a harpist dream lasts forever. When I was young, I clutched onto my empty stomach and went to a cafe called Banjul. I went in because the cafe seemed to do well, and I thought that if I make a distressed face, they might give me a piece of bread. At that moment, a person who revealed himself as the as wedding pitch gave me some cookies. He kindly told me that there was a harp concert and that I should go see it. At that time, Mr. Hoban was on a business trip to look for tea leaves, and an actual harpist was running the cafe. Yes, then there was a person who knew how to play the harp at Banjul. That might be why I developed all these fantasies over it. A man with brown hair and round glasses played the harp, and I was enraptured at that spot. Ugh, I should become a harpist. I was in second grade when that thought came to my mind. After that, I continued studying to become a harpist. But when I was in eighth grade, my dad's business failed, and I couldn't afford to continue studying the harp. It wasn't just the harp. I couldn't even afford to go to school. So I... This is supposed to be so... I visited Banjul again while clutching my empty stomach. But what? So man kept, kicked me out. Mr. Hoban treated me like a rat and kicked me out with his broom, but I didn't give up. I visited Banjul every day because I liked the harp so much. Every time Mr. Hoban told me uh, that he's busy and kicked me out, and then one, and then on one rainy day I was sitting in front of Banjul crying and nibbling on a red bean pastry when Mr. Hoban saw me soaked in the rain and finally let me inside the cafe. I looked at the harp with sparkling eyes, and he said that he'd give me the honor of polishing the harp in return for working as a waiter for minimum wage. I didn't have any choice. Tears. Talking about this makes me cry. Do you know how good a red bean pastry is when it's soaked in tears? Anyways, that's how I started working at Banjul. I dream of becoming a harpist. You'll support it, right? I'll do my best. I don't even charge that much. <laughs> Contact me. Okay, so his is just... Okay, so theirs are just the whole diary. Okay, so we'll probably get Shinbi and Yujin. Okay, so Mr. Hobans. i 가게도 시온이 열심히 뛰어다니며 일하는 덕에 어느 정도 안정되기도 했고 말이야. 그나저나 시온 녀석 정말 열심히 하는구만. 좀 덤벙대는 것 빼고는 아주 100점 만점이야. 
틈틈이 하프를 배우고 있는 것 같은데 잘하면 추가로 돈을 벌 수도 있겠어 <웃음> 가게 수익이 늘어나면 이번에는 인도까지 찬잎을 구매하러 다닐 수 있겠군 물론 또 쓸데없이 메뉴 늘리지 말라며 잔소리할 게 뻔하지만 말이야 그래도 시원 그거 아니? 니네 녀석이 들어오고 나서 가게 손님이 많이 늘었어 대이가 아무리 손님을 끌어도 네가 기반을 잡지 않았더라면 지금처럼 손님이 확 늘지는 않았을 거야 그 우유 같은 피부 가게를 위해서라도 잘 관리하라고 아 그리고 너그 소희라는 아가씨한테 관심이 있는 것 같은데 맞지? 맨날 아닌 척하기는 일단 잘 되기만 하면 이 점장님이 팍팍 밀어줄 거야 사랑을 향한 도전은 아름다운 법이지 한창 학교 다닐 나이에 매번 노동 시취에서 미안하다 그래도 네 꿈을 이룰 수 있도록 가장 도와주고 싶은 사람은 바로 나야 10년이고 20년이고 마음껏 일해도 되니까 앞으로도 잘 부탁한다 It's been almost five years since I wandered around searching for the best tea leaves. Business is pretty stable since Zion ran around here and there and worked persistently. Anyway, Zion does really try his best. Except for his clumsiness, he's perfect. I think he makes time to learn the harp now and then. If this works out, we might be able to earn some extra income. Ha! Huh. If the cafe makes more profit, I might be able to go to India to buy tea leaves. Although, I'm sure he'll nag me not to increase the number of drinks. But Zion, do you know? The number of customers increased ever since you started working here. No matter how popular tea is, if you hadn't laid down the foundations, the customers would not have increased so dramatically. You should take care of that clear skin of yours just for the sake of the cafe. Oh, and you seem to be interested in that girl called Soy, right? You always pretend not to, but if things work out, I'll do everything I can to support you. Attempts for love are always beautiful. Sorry for making you work all the time when you should be going to school and studying, but no one wants to help you reach your dreams more than I do. You can work for 10 years, 20 years, or however long it takes. So let's keep this going. Interesting. Tae 선배에게. Tae 선배, 안녕하세요. 저 기억하실지는 모르겠지만 1학년 M반의 반장이자 그 아이의 베스트 프렌드 <웃음> 소희라고 해요. 갑자기 편지를 받으셔서 놀라셨죠? 저에 대해 이미 알고 계실지는 모르겠지만 얼굴만 밝히는 마돈나라고 소문이 나 있을 거예요. 하지만 실제로 저는 그런 사람이 아니에요. 아니, 그런 사람이긴 했지만 태희 선배를 만나고 나서 모든 것이 바뀌었어요. 이 마음을 어떻게 표현하면 좋을까요? 처음 교장 선생님의 벤에서 내리는 태희 선배를 보고 제 마음은 뛰기 시작했어요. 물론 인정할게요. 처음에는 태희 선배의 얼굴을 좋아했어요. 하지만 어느 날 우연히 보았어요. 옥상에서 그 아이와 얘기하고 있는 모습을요. 그때 태희 선배가 그 아이에게 지어준 미소가 잊혀지지 않아요. 다정하고 상냥한 그 미소 말이에요. 나에게도 어떤 특별한 사람이 저 미소를 지어준다면 얼마나 기쁠까 생각했어요. 저는요, 요리도 잘하는 편이고 옷에도 관심이 많아요. 향후에는 음. 패션 디자이너로 장래를 희망하고 있어요. 전 태희 선배에게 많은 것을 바라지는 않아요. 단지... 곁에 있어주시면 돼요. 천천히 둘만의 이야기를 만들어 나가면 돼요. 결코 많은 것을 바라지는 않을게요. 그리고 태희 선배가 원하는 여자가 되기 위해 노력할 자신도 있어요. 그러니까 제 마음 받아주셨으면 좋겠어요. 태희 선배, 저와 사귀어주세요. QT, T, hi! I don't know if you remember, but I'm the president of freshman class N, and her best friend, Soy. I bet you were surprised that you suddenly got this letter. I don't know if you already know about me, but you might have heard that I'm a Madonna who only cares about looks. But I'm actually not that kind of person. No, I used to be that kind of person, but everything changed after I saw you. How should I put this into words? When I first saw you get off the principal's van, my heart started beating. Of course, I admit it. At first, I liked you because of how you look. But one day I saw by chance, I saw you talking to her on the roof. I can't forget the smile that you gave her that day. The kind and sweet smile. I thought that I'd be so happy if someone special gives me that kind of gives that kind of gives me that kind of smile to me. Gives that kind of smile to me. You know, I'm good at cooking and I'm interested in clothes. 
I dream of becoming a fashion designer. I don't expect a lot from you, T. I just want you to be by my side. We can get to know each other slowly. I'll never expect too much from you. And I know I can be the woman you want me to be. So I really hope you'll give me the answer I want. T, will you be my boyfriend? That's so sad. Because she's like, I saw you smiling at Spacey and now I need you. You know, so I, that's a little underhanded. Did we read T? 당신 말입니다. 이런 말까지는 안 하려고 했는데. Yeah, no, we did read this. Okay. We already read that. That was about Yuri. So now we get to go, and I'm pretty sure we read T's page one, right? 지지지 제조법. Yeah, we did. 첫째. That was the recipe, so we're going to go 음. into... 나에 대한 질문을 들어보면 항상 오해가 많아서 말이지. 오늘 여기서 몇 가지에 대해서는 해명을 하고 싶어. <웃음> 첫 번째, 프롤로그에 나오는 앞치마는 내 취향인가? 그 앞치마는 오너 거였으니까 오해하지 말길 바래. 하지만 가슴에 큰 하트표가 있는 디자인은 나름대로 좋아해. 두 번째, 여자아이들의 고백을 많이 봤는데 그럼 왕자병이나 연예인병에 걸리지 않나요? I was reading ahead, sorry. 글쎄, 사실 난 내가 왜 인기가 많은지도 모르겠어. 내가 전교 1등이라서 그런가? 아니면 내 미소가 아름다워서? 아니면 내 가르송 차림이 잘 어울려서? 음, 정말 모르겠단 말이지. <웃음> 세 번째, 차를 자주 타주는데 이건 반줄 간접 광고가 아닌가요? <웃음> 글쎄, 따로 호빈 점장님에게서 돈을 받는 일은 없어. 다만 반줄의 차는 유기농과 공정무역 차가 많아서 신선하고 건강에 좋아. 미용과 다이어트에도 좋고 말이야. 수십 가지나 되는 찻잎 종류를 외운다고 처음에 고생 꽤나 했었지. <웃음> 아무튼 난 반줄을 간접 홍보하려는 건 아니야. 단지 반줄 차가 훌륭할 뿐이지. 어, 이것도 광고인가? <웃음> 언제든 반줄에 들러 웃는 얼굴로 환영해 줄게. Hmm, I always think there's so many misunderstandings when I hear questions about me. I like to set a couple things straight here. First, is the apron that appeared in the prologue my taste? That apron was the owner, so don't misunderstand. But I kind of like the big heart on the chest. That part made me laugh so much. Second, a lot of girls ask me out. Doesn't that make you feel like a prince or celebrity? Well, honestly, I have no idea why I'm popular. Is it because I have the best grades in my school? Or because my smile is beautiful? Or I look handsome in the uniform? Hmm, I really don't know. Third, I frequently make tea. Is that PPL for Banjul? Oh, like advertising for Banjul. Haha, <laughs> well, I didn't get paid by Mr. Hoban or anything like that. But Banjul's tea leaves are mostly organic and fair trade. So they are very fresh and healthy. They're good for your skin and diet. It was difficult at first since I had to memorize tens of different kinds of tea leaves. Haha, <laughs> anyway, I'm not trying to advertise Banjul or anything. It's just that Banjul's tea is exceptional. Oh, is that advertising too? Haha. <laughs> Well, stop by any time. I'll greet you with a smile. I say it again, but don't misunderstand things about me. Tay의 관찰일기. Lance. 아무거나 잘 먹는 편이나 특히 채소를 더 좋아한다. 준비물이든 옷이든 모두 항상 같은 자리에 두는 특성이 있다. 아무데나 놓여진 물건은 결코 Lance의 것이 아니다. 결벽증 있음. 덕분에 레드의 방이 그나마 깨끗함. 연호. 음식 만들기에 열을 올리기를 좋아하니 무언가를 만들고 싶어 할 때는 내버려 두는 것이 좋다. 가끔 과잉 열정 증세와 불안 증세를 보임. 걱정이 지나치게 많은 성격. 가끔 오너를 집착 가득한 눈으로 바라보지만 아직까지 큰 행동을 보인 적은 없음. 애민, 유리, 아무데나 옷을 뱀 허물처럼 벗어놓음. 까탈스럽고 미용에 관심이 많고 생각이 깊지 않은 것처럼 보이지만 의외로 능구렁이 아저씨 같은 구석이 있음. 나름대로 까놓고 보면 괜찮은 놈이긴 하지만 오너와 엮이는 것은 개인적으로 매우 불쾌함. 좋아하는 음식은 This 몸에 so 좋은 sad. 음식. 그리고 나. 오너와 사랑에 빠져버린 더러운 인형. 다가가서 상처 입히는 것보다 오히려 한 발짝 떨어져서 오너를 위해 할수 있는 것을 하고 있는 비겁한 인형. 나의 오너. 너를 영원히 사랑해. T's observation diary. 
Lance is not picky about his food and prefers vegetables more. Is not pick I am not picky or is picky about his food and prefers vegetables more. He has a habit of putting everything in the same spot. Anything that is scattered never belongs to Lance. He is OCD. Thanks to that, Red's room is manageable. <laughs> He's talking about Red. He's just like, done. You know, tends to get worked up about cooking, so it's best to leave him alone when he wants to make something. Sometimes he tends to get too worked up and get overly anxious. He has too many worries. He often looks at the owner obsessively, but has not yet, has not acted out anything serious yet. He's M. What's M? Yuri scatters his clothes around as if shedding snakeskin. He's very picky, cares about his looks, and seems lighthearted and shallow, but sometimes he seems like an old soul. He's actually a pretty okay guy, but I personally would hate to see him end up with the owner. Prefers food that is good for his body rather than food he likes. And me, a filthy doll in love with the owner. A cowardly doll that does everything he can for his owner from the back rather than approach her and hurt her. My owner, I love you forever. That's so obsessive and weird. Okay, and we already read all of everything else. So, okay, there you go. Would you let us know? So that's that. So when we come back in the next part, we will be starting Red's route. So yeah, um, not too long, not too long uh, left of this one. So if you haven't already at this point, um, it's been up for like two weeks now, a little over. Make sure that you've left a vote in the poll video of what you want to see replacing this. One thing I will say is I did not realize when I made that video, um, and I'm still not 100% sure, but I think Life is Strange 2 might be coming out sometime in August. Uh, I think I should have known that because we played Captain Spirit, and I think the date was August, but it just was like, that was in July, and it was like, that's like a month away. Eh, we're not worried about it. I guess I didn't think the games were going to wrap up then. Um, so that may or may not take a spot. I don't know what we'll do. Uh, you know, I definitely want to play that, so I don't know if we'll just, I can't imagine being, doing three Atome games on top of that and Sims. Um, so I might put that every other day with something else, with one of the other games. Probably not Hakuoki, because that's going to take us at least three months to play. There's like over 80 hours, so. Hakuoki's definitely coming after, uh, Future Blessings, but... Whether we will have something replacing this intermixed with Life is Strange or what. I'm not sure if they're going to do Life is Strange like they did the first one where it's chapter by chapter. Where, you know, we might only have a couple hours worth of it. You know, um, so we'll see. But I definitely want to play that when it comes out. But definitely leave your votes on the Atome uh, poll that's up there for the games to play next in place of this one and for Bad Apple Wars. So I just want to make sure that we get that call out. Um, you guys have probably all already voted because most of you guys were quick to vote the day that thing came out and I'm still waiting. I'm still sitting here waiting for the votes. So by the time this votes, that's been up for, I mean, by the time this goes up, that poll has been up for like two weeks. Um, I'm saying it now, but I may have actually, I may already be done recording this and have started on something else i don't know i don't know i'm ahead but that's just because i have to be ahead for august so we'll see how it goes uh so this might be pointless to tell you to go vote for something for a game that we've already started playing but at the time i'm recording this i haven't started new games obviously <laughs> oh well anyway whatever yeah you know how things go here i <laughs> Anyway, I will see you guys next time and we'll start on Red's Route. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.